Yeah. Good morning, world. Chris 260 right here. Been up all night and shit, you know. I hear maneuvering. But, I had me a little breakfast earlier. A little sandwich or whatever from McD's. So I figured while I'm up, I've been thinking about this shit, man. And I figured while I'm up, why not make a video? So, since I'm making a video, what I want to talk about is the hip-hop scene in Miami. Pros and cons. For you artists that's in Miami, from Miami, or you come, you might come to Miami and figure you try to get on in the hip-hop world. And you see you may be having trouble. I'm going to break down why it's hard to get on here and why you may be having trouble you know you may be offended by what i'm about to tell you but truth usually hurts if you're wondering why it's difficult to get on in miami if you're a hip-hop artist here are the reasons why one what the fuck is that a net Anyway, one, it may be hard for you to get on here because, one, you could be fucking with the wrong people. Sure, you may have, like, passed your music to different people, DJs, so-called managers, or whoever you feel is a move maker in the music world. Problem with that is you could be passing your shit to the wrong person. If you're going to try to network and link with a person that you feel maybe can put you on, don't link with niggas that ain't in a position themselves to be on. Okay? If a nigga getting jerked out of his deal, if a nigga getting jerked, you know what I mean? Play for his chips or whatever. He's still at the bottom of the barrel. He may be rapping like 15, 20, 25 or whatever. You know what I mean? May have a little name, but he just low level as shit. That could be part of the problem right there. If a nigga ain't in no position to put himself on and open no doors... For himself, what make you think he can do it for you? Another reason, quite possibly, you know, another reason it may be hard to get on is, you know, you may have integrity. Now, the hip-hop industry is going to make you do, you're going to see some shit in the hip-hop industry. It's going to make you question your integrity, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you willing to do to get on? Like, sure, you may have talent, skills, and all that, but if you're not willing to kiss ass, suck dick, bend over, get fucked, brown nose to these DJs and these fake ass managers and all that shit, and these other artists. You know what I'm saying? If you're not willing to basically sell your soul, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty difficult for you. You know, third reason, you maybe don't grind enough. You know what I mean? You got to get yourself out there. You can't rely just on social media. It's unrealistic as fuck. If you think you're going to get on just by strictly SoundCloud or... Or, or that piff or whatever you gotta put yourself out there bro or, 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 or girl if you're a female female artists can take advice from this i'm speaking to everybody male and female now you gotta basically get yourself out there man push your product just like how these drug dealers and all these other people be pushing their product do the same shit Whatever you gotta do, you gotta invest in yourself too. You get out of this game what you invest into the game. 
You don't put anything into it. You don't work. You don't eat from it. You know? Fourth reason why it may be difficult for you to get on down here in Miami, I'm not going to lie to you. Here's where you may get offended. Miami, unfortunately, and I can say this because I'm born and raised in Miami, born in Jackson Memorial Hospital, you know what I'm saying, 1983, been here 35 years, born and raised, so... I've seen this shit with my own eyes, but the reason may be difficult for you to get on here is because Miami, the mentality of have these these rappers and these, these PD program directors, for those that don't know, DJs and industry heads, is because some of these niggas are haters. Not all, but some. Some of these niggas got hate in their blood, man. And don't be from, like, New York or some shit. I don't know what it is. Miami niggas don't like New York niggas for some reason. I'm not one of these type of niggas. Like, I love my New York niggas, and my New York niggas fuck with me heavy. Been like that for years, and I'm not finna... Make niggas check. I'm not on that check-in bullshit. If I fucks with you and you fuck with me, cool. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But niggas down here got... It's a crab in a barrel mentality, man. Like, yo. Niggas feel like they got to go to the, the dope boy route. The trap boy route. The the the, the Chevy riding dope uh, route. And... And, and, and I listen to some of that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that That if that's what you do, you know. But if you're not on that type of shit, man, they might feel like, yo, like, you might want to go to New York somewhere or L.A. where they'll play your shit. And it's like, when I hear shit like that, like, what kind of shit is that to say to somebody trying to get on? Like, first of all, fuck you if you think, if you think that way, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just some low-key hater shit to say to somebody. You know, I had one local legend tell me that same shit. And, of course, I didn't take this motherfucker serious because, like, why would I listen to a nigga give me some bullshit advice and then turn around and roll a dirty blunt that's coke laced with that's weed laced with coke but that's another story in itself niggas down here got hate in they blood for some reason man it's like if you ain't doing no bimbo type shit if you ain't doing no d-boy drug dealer type shit like if you ain't on no 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 south type vibe i guess they feel like niggas ain't gonna want to fuck with you but i'm a miami nigga been rapping 25 years you know what i'm saying off and on 25 years bro since 1995 so i've been around this shit you know what i'm saying i done studied the business of this Notice I said business, because hip-hop is not only a culture, it's a business, you know. And I pretty much know what it takes to get on, you know, I, you know. And I know what I'm willing to do and won't do. And I'm not kissing nobody ass to get on. And niggas down here got that. It's like a hater crab in a bucket mentality, man. Like, oh, you fucking with them niggas. Oh, you don't sound like you from the crib, and no, you got to sound like you from Miami. Again, fuck you if that's how you feel niggas got to sound. You mean to tell me niggas can't be they self? First of all, I ain't on none of that shit. I don't speak certain slang like I speak English. My words are clear. You understand what the fuck I'm saying to you. My music has a message. 
I don't knock nobody for the music they make. If that's the type of vibes you on, cool. As long as your shit talented. As long as your shit got, as long as you got talent and you got skill and you serious about your craft, that should be all that is you need. But unfortunately here, it's a different story. Part, and another reason why you may have trouble getting on or you haven't, but you're not on yet is simply you just don't, you won't get out of your city. You won't leave your city. You, you're comfortable. You may be content in a certain area. That can hinder you too. How are you going to go worldwide from your fucking block? You can't do it. It's not realistic. You're not going to go far. You're just going to be like rest of these niggas trapped in their little area. And you're known in that area. And, so, and another problem with that is some dudes, are, some artists are content with that. You know, for female artists, it may be difficult, even more difficult, because you got what, these slimy ass A and R's and these managers and shit, probably trying to fuck you at every turn, every this that, every time Dick and Harry want to stick they wood in you, and yeah, I'm gonna put you on this track. You could sing. The, the, the hook on it. I've seen it happen. I've seen this shit with my own eyes, bro. I've seen it. And don't mind me when I say bro. That's just how I talk, man. Like, I could be talking to a female and like, yo, bro. Like, you know, it's a habit, which I'm trying to break. But back to the story. Like, it may be harder for female artists to get on because, like, the niggas that's trying to put them on is either trying to dick them down before they get in the booth or get in the lab or do anything with them. And, it, and that's fucked up. It shouldn't be like that. If the female is talented, why you got to try to, why you got to fuck her for her to get on and do some shit? Like, just point, the, if you're not going to put nobody on, at least point them in the direction of somebody that can, you know? But down here, man, it's a whole different circus, man. But don't let these niggas throw you off. To all you artists trying to get on, don't let nobody dictate to you how to sound. Don't let nobody tell you what type of music you should make, how you should, how you should move, and all that shit. Don't let nobody tell you you gotta your sound gotta be Miami. If your sound is universal. Be universal. That's how you go all over instead of just being stuck in Miami. You know what I'm saying? That's work for Trick Daddy, work for Rick Ross, Florida, Pitbull, Luke. And another thing I want to say real quick too, Miami got some lyrical artists down here. It's okay to be lyrical. Not everybody from Miami is a fucking D-boy or a strip club nigga or a fucking pimp. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or you know what I mean? It's a hustler city. See, yeah, unfortunately, cocaine built it, but not every artist from Miami is on that shit. And a message to all you Miami artists, don't feel like you got to be on that shit either. Don't let none of these niggas dictate to you how you should make your music and how you should sound and perform and whatnot. Don't let them do that. Be yourself. Do your music. Stick to your guns. Stay true to yourself. As long as you got, as long as your integrity is intact, fuck what they talking about. You know what I mean? But as far as like the Miami hip hop scene go, I mean, shit need to change. Like, fuck checking in. Fuck that shit, man. Ain't nobody getting behind that shit, dog. Fucking out of town check-in and all that bullshit. That's all it is, is bullshit. You know what I mean? But those are some of the reasons why it may be difficult for you to get on. Now, if you're going to try to link with people... In Miami, make sure you link with the right people. Link up with people that can actually do something for you. 
Don't link up with a nigga that's... Don't link up with motherfuckers that's at the bottom. Just like you and you trying to get to the top. But these niggas at the same level you at. You know? Try to link up with some people. Send your shit out to people. Push your product, man. Push your music. You know? Post it in your stories. Get your friends to share it. Plug that shit. Promote that shit. Like you would these celebrities and shit you don't know. Believe in yourself, man. Hey, I root. I love all the artists. I got love for all the artists in my city. Well, not all, you know. But I got love for for people trying to get on and do their thing and all that, you know. From Miami and wherever you may be from, you know. But. Don't let these niggas stop you, man, like, at all. Do your shit. You know, it's it's not easy to get on in the game. It ain't. I'll be the first to tell you. I could have been signed years ago, but I'm not signing 360 deals, and I'm not signing with shysty, slimy, underhanded fucking people. I'm just not doing it. You know, why you gonna sign your life away? You might as well go work a regular job. If you gonna sign your life away and shit, why sign up to be broke? Fuck that. You know, and so those are the reasons, man. Unfortunately, I would, my recommendation, fuck with the out of town niggas. Them the ones with the most plugs anyway, because niggas from this shit here, these letters what I got on my fitted, they ain't going to help you, man, at all. I'm from Miami, and I'm telling you this shit. These niggas ain't going to help you, man. Unfortunately, niggas got that jealous crab in the bucket mentality, man. Like, if niggas see your potential... And and they see your potential. They see you got what it takes to be great. And they ass don't have it in them to be great. They ain't gonna want to see you great, man. They gonna look at you as con you competition to them. Oh, this nigga better than me. I ain't putting this nigga on. Or even if they do, you know what I'm saying? They'll try to jerk you. Low-key jerk you. You know? And that's fucked up. But, man, link up with the right people, bro. Don't link up with niggas that go get the blunts from the store. Don't link up with niggas that been doing shit 20-something plus years and ain't been no fucking where. Still in the same goddamn position. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of illusions to you get illusions in hip hop, man. Especially here, you niggas you think be rich be broke as fuck. You know, learn to see through the bullshit, read between the lines, man, and get get your publishing. For all you artists out there, man, like get your publishing agreement, man. Get you get with a publishing rights organization, man. And learn about how your publishing work. Learn about how your royalties work, man. Learn about how to license your music and collect your royalties. Learn when you learn when you get when you supposed to get paid. Half these artists don't even know what they supposed to get paid. And that is a difficult. That's another reason why some niggas don't get on or can't get on. This is because they just simply don't know, man. You know, like. You gotta learn the game before you play it, man, you know? But, anyway, right now, that's all I got for you, you know? I'm gonna try to, I'll be hella busy, man. I'll be trying to make videos and can't, but, you know, stay tuned next time, man. Whenever I got something to say, I'll make a video. Hopefully you watch this and you learn, you know. Any questions, I'm open to answer them, you know. My name Chris260, and I'm out, man. Be blessed. Y'all be safe. We'll go burn one now. Bless.